Hey guys, I'm back. I'm setting up the stream right now. I kind of want to stream a little bit earlier today, even though it's still like technically my regular time to stream. But I, <laughs> I wanted to get everything set up. So I don't know why I click start streaming. To be honest, I, I don't know why I'm doing this. Let me just pick a music, pick a song. <coughs> Hopefully, all right, audio seems to be working. Dope, 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 dope. All right, cool. All right, we're good. We're good. I just got home and I always wanted to sit down and just start. Honestly, I I want to get some sleep tonight as well. I've been having some crazy like sleeping issues lately. Like I'm really tired, but I haven't had like a good opportunity to sleep a lot. And uh, you, yeah, I was testing Guardy earlier for expanded main deck to Toad. It was all right. You, what do you mean main deck to Toad? What does that mean? Uh, anyways, what's up, Nelson? Uh, first name, last name is here. Chris Swampert. What is up with all my lovely, lovely people? I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Yo, yo. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Um, but I want to get some streaming in. I, I want to play a little bit of Gardevoir. This video, this video, this stream might only be like an hour long. <clears throat> but I've been playtesting a lot of Gardevoir versus Zoark, and I've been having a tough time. Whenever I get the cards I need, it works well. Uh, but... <clears throat> I have been having some consistency issues. So the goal today is to fix some of those consistency issues and just try out different ideas. Uh, I know that when I was testing, there were some th cards I liked and some cards I really didn't like. And I'm gonna start making changes now. I know I took those out and made a four max potion list. Two, two, one, one, three, three. I know I took out a Hoopa, which is something I, I wanna consider putting back in, but for the time being, I did take it out. I threw in a Lusamine to contest the stadium more because I've been having lots of issues versus uh because I I want my I want my D value out as much as possible so the Lusamine will help you a lot. Threw in the Hue and I put in a Lysander and a Guzma as well. I forgot what I dropped though for that part. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm just fixing things up. I'm just gonna talk to the chat. So I'm tone in the main with Guardi. Seismitoad in the main with Gar oh so you're also playing si I don't oh Guardi G okay you meant the GX so that's different yeah my bad that was, that's why I was so confused I was like how do you do that <laughs> what's up propane how you doing bro how many draw supporters should I have in octillery two two with no leleys how many draw supporters should I have in a octillery what deck though trust me I know I was thinking of adding Evo sodas and what. Wait, what, what? I heard Mega Guardi. Oh, Mega Guardi, never mind. Yeah, it's Mega Guardi, guys. This is for Expanded, and this is... Mega Guardi is cool, right? Because um, in the Zoark matchup, in particular, unless they play Kikuis, they can never Oko you, and if they do play Kikuis, they're asking for a bunch to pull it off. And most, m most if not any, Zoark lists play Kikuis because they don't really need to. So, because of resistance, you can never, they can never Oko you, and then you attack with one energy. You don't need a big bench to 2k with them, obviously. You just need to get rid of, like, two or three Pokemon which is easy enough to do and uh, <clears throat> you can play the bulky game the stall game where you have mega Gardevoir you have max potions you have ace Rollas, uh, you have ways to work around their field but it involves you having a D Valley so I decided to put a Lusamine in here to help with that consistency I know I played a Guzma I just don't remember what I dropped and it's kind of bothering me I am slightly triggered why the Jirachi? Because you can grab Jirachi off the Hoopa. That's the main reason. Hoopa, Jirachi, any supporter you want. And you can discard it, super rod it, uh, back into the deck, then you can play Hoopa and grab it again. So you're essentially filling up your bench while also grabbing a, a Lele, but it's a Jirachi. You don't have enough full arts, you right. Galizapod, Zoark, Mind Jack. Oh, and Galizapod, Zoark? How many draw supports should I have? You should get Zorak GX. They're not terribly expensive since there's boxes for them. So you should try to work on that. Speaking of which, I know I have Zorak GX codes, uh, box codes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I want to add those to the monthly giveaway. Or if this video hits 50 likes, we can actually give away one of them. I have two codes and I want to hold on to one of them. Um for another giveaway in the future because i don't need these codes but i have the code so if you guys want the entire code this that comes with everything in it the promo and the coin and all that stuff that's something i do want to do 
I thought you start streaming right when I finish making myself a few sandwiches. Hey, that is a that is that is dinner and a show. <laughs> What's up, Derek? Play three for Ogadir. You right. What's up, Bill Bob? One two three and and uh, big big sig. What's up, big sig? <clears throat> I should look at my deck list because I'm getting slightly. Oh, I also played a second super. Okay, so I know I dropped something. Oh, I think I dropped the. Oh, I know I dropped the Getsis. and I am playing a second super rod because. Uh, there's been a lot of times where I want to put things back in the deck. Because I never have issues... I, n I never, like, need the Pokemon back into my hand right away, or the energies. I send them back to the deck so I can abuse my cards like Oracorio and stuff like that a lot more often. So, I know I dropped that. Four, four. Let me take a look at this. Two, two, one, one. That's for sure. That's consistent. Three, three, one. And one, one, one. Okay, so that's right. I know I have this. I know I have this. I know I have this now. And I'm... I'm really, I really like the max potions. It just helps out so much, which is why I'm playing them. And this is my first time trying it with four, though. If I don't like the four count, I can drop it. But that's what I'm playing right now. One, one, one. I know I'm playing this to also help in the Zoric matchup. He was just so strong in the Zoric matchup. One, two. I kind of wanted to play threes with Sycamores, but deck space is tough. I think I might have dropped this Skyla, or maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Maybe I don't play this many energies now. Something's changed. I gotta double check. Also, I keep bobbing people with Noivern. I also beat Guardi GX a few matches in a row. Must be nice, bro. Must be nice. Winning with Noivern, huh? Wouldn't know how that feels. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to throw in the Guzma. I just don't remember. I know I have it in the deck. Let me actually pull up my actual deck. <clears throat> I just can't seem to remember what I dropped. And I... It's, it's like super triggered right now. I'm super triggered. Super triggered. Um, Cause I like the Lysander, but there is a very, there are some situations where the Guzma is just too important to not play. <clears throat> this will be my first time playing it. Cause I did play with Steven. Like, I think I played like three games with him. I won one, he won the T1-2. So he did win the, he did win the series. Which is why I'm like in this mood where I just like, I gotta get better with this deck. What do I do? That kind of thing. I played a Ranguru as well. I know I recently put in a Ranguru. Although, a Ranguru I could definitely see cutting. There is two Dragonites, like I thought. Okay. How many energies do I play? Maybe that's the issue. Try Legacy for once, gets destroyed. Uh, drop Jirachi for Lele, the GX attack can be clutch. I have the Lele, it's in there. But Jirachi, Jirachi I can grab with Hoopa and that's way more important. Cause Hoopa is your ideal turn one, right? You wanna get Hoopa right away. Hoopa gets you Guardi, Guardi, and a third thing. Whether it's a Mega Guardi, a Jirachi, a Shaman, you can grab things with Hoopa and that's why Hoopa is so good. If you if you play Lele, the only way I can get, the only way, if I get rid of Jirachi, the only way I can get Lele is with Ultra Ball, which is not as reliable as you make a sound, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so also if you guys don't mind drop a like on the stream it's always greatly appreciated i'm just gonna throw in everything i know that's in the deck and cut the things that i learn are not in the deck i'm sorry if i'm super frantic right now uh i just gotta i need i need some sleep after this <laughs> uh so we're just gonna have a little bit of fun today and probably get bodied but i'm i'm like i'm testing this i've already tested the other decks and i'm pretty success I've, I've already successfully tested the other decks i might want to play in dallas so I'm not too worried about those. Um, let's see. As far as Pokemon go, of course I know I have four D values. I know I have that. How many energies? That's the next question. Um, I also need to get an IRL Hue. That's something I don't have right now. I've been playing with Proxy Hue. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four. There's no way. There's just no way. I mean, it makes sense, but one, two, three, four. Hmm. It's been working for me, so it's not like that's a huge problem. But how many rainbows do I? I know I play a good amount of rainbows. One rainbow. At least, I know I play at least two rainbows in this deck. I hope. Yeah, there's two rainbows. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna drop two energies then. I only have four basic energies in this deck. Not too sure I feel about that now that I'm thinking about it, but like, 
uh, apparently I've been playing with four energies this whole time. I've been perfectly fine with it, so I guess there's sense somewhere. Four basics, I should say. Between Super Rod and Orcorio, I've been able to get them relatively easily. So I guess we'll try this. It's very, very big. I, I hate playing decks that have this many cards in it because it's like hard to grasp all at once, but I mean, it should be fun. <clears throat> what about fan club? Pulse two. Yeah, but let me tell you about all the times I want to play a supporter to get a supporter. <laughs> Where does Hugh come in? Hugh comes in the Zoric matchup. There's a lot of times Zoric likes to stack their hand against you so that they can always consistently play their Ace Arolas or puzzles whenever they need to at the right time, right? So you punish them for stacking by playing Hugh. Hugh also kind of gives you a pseudo draw supporter um, in a sense, just because sometimes your hand does get pretty empty in this deck. And it's like, it's just a good way to punish. Because late game, after your opponent has the Zorak like a million times because you're giving them an opportunity to do with this deck, since you can't Oko the Zoraks, <clears throat> you, uh, you force them to discard all their cards. And then all of a sudden, they're playing with a lot less resources and you can actually punish them for that, so. Oh, like, oh, what's set? Oh, that's a good question. Let's find out. Um... See, I think it's just called Mega Guardian. I don't know if I started though. Once again, Pokemon, please, 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 not this one. There it is. Please fix this to where you can search. <clears throat> Hugh is whatever set this is. Is there like. No, there's not. Okay. I was thinking that it might have been a full iron, I just don't know about it. I don't know what this set is since I don't know black and white sets, but that's the set. Alright, let me put this deck away and hopefully we can find some good games. Once again, the stream's going to be pretty short. Uh, by pretty short, it's like an hour. Maybe it, it might be my regular time, to be honest, once I get in the groove of it. But I know my mother's still sick and I've been taking care of her. And I am beginning to get sick and trying to take care of myself as well. Which is why I haven't been streaming as much. But by the way, I do want to say thank you to all you guys that have been watching the videos and supporting it like mad. You guys are insanely awesome. And we also hit 280 subscribers today as well, which is super dope. <clears throat> we haven't been gaining a lot of subs lately just because, you know, not good luck, I guess. But um, you guys have definitely been helping out a lot. So... Because hmm. the likes, you guys have no idea how important likes are. Because likes actually promote the channel. More people will... Oh my, this is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. You've got to be kidding me. Well, we're playing against Zoark, which is good. That is the worst opening hand, man. That's honestly super bad. Alright, this is not too bad, though. The follow-up isn't bad at all. Um... So what we can do is discard this, Ultra Ball away, this and Lysander, super other things back, grab Hoopa, oh actually grab probably Orcorio first, attach an energy and get the this thing. Uh, there's a lot of things we can do next turn is what I'm trying to say. Professional YouTubes, you know what I mean, right? Boundaries crossed, boundaries crossed. Hey, what's up Steven by the way? I was just talking about how you bodied me with this deck against me. How you bodied, how you were destroying me with Zoric. I think Luxray is close enough. I, uh, in the comment, in the comment question yesterday, not today. I mean yesterday. I mean, uh, hold on. English is tough. In the comment question earlier today. Okay, I don't know what I'm playing. Uh, that I did for this for the video I uploaded earlier today. Oh, clean. This is actually super nice now. So now we retreat. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is actually really good right now. We discard these two. We're gonna super rod that back, but we're gonna grab. I'm gonna grab Orcorio first, cause that way that way I can discard. Mm, nope, should have grabbed Hoopa first. Should have grabbed Hoopa first. Okay, so now what I have to do. Is I can't play the super rod. See what I what I forgot because what I want to do with Hoopo is when I grab I want to grab a Pokemon I wanted to discard so I could super rod it back. Hmm, that's fine though. All right. Yes. Grab. What do we have in this card pile right now? Just okay. Cool. 
We need two so we can Ultra Ball again. Yeah, I did that wrong because the Hoopa grabs me three cards and this one grabs me two. But it's whatever. We have two Super Odds. We'll be okay. <clears throat> Alright, so Hoopa gets me Shaman, Jirachi, and Mega Guardi. But now all I need is Dimension Valley after this. Oh no, we can only play one of those Pokemon. Shaman. Okay, so we're going to just grab Shaman and Mega Guardi then. Shaman and Mega Guardi. Yeah, I, I have to be careful with like my sizes of the boards, especially right now when I'm as frantic as I am. Um, boom, boom. I just hate that I led with Shaman and Spear Link. Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, so now I need D Valley, so I can get Skyla if I get lucky. I got the D Valley, so that works out as well. We got the Super Rod as well, so yeah. This works out. If he attaches any DCs next turn, we can play Kartana. Uh, it just sucks that I'm kind of stuck next turn. But we're pretty decent otherwise. We'll just drop all these, grid of them. We're not going to need to hit any more than 110. I'm just afraid of this. But as long as I have Kartana, I should be okay. We got to lay out the prizes too, so that actually fixes a lot. Dope, 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 dope. But now I have to set up a second Guardi, because this is probably going to Okomi with a GX attack. So, oh nice. Very, very nice. And he's playing Umbreon. Okay, so he's playing Umbreon Zorak with a Tauros, I guess, a Strafe into. I just remember, Streamlabs broke. Oh, wait a minute. Thank you. I appreciate that. I fixed it. Man, I'm really good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Do I want to... No, I don't. I don't Oko anything, which is the annoying part. But I don't want it to... Mm, we have to do this anyways, because we're stuck. Sure. This leaves me with one more Spear Link, I believe. Oh, man. Um, I guess we can get Mega Guardi here. We can't get Hoopa. We can get Dragonite. Dragonite gets me stuff. Dragonite's probably safer. Hmm, I'm just trying to think of what I want to drop. I don't think I'm going to need Field Blower. And as long as I have Lusamine, I'm actually a lot safer to get rid of my D-Valleys. So I'm actually going to make that play instead. Grab Dragonite here. Dragonite gets me Hoopa. Hoopa gets me Mega Guardi. It also gets me, um, I guess, whatever else I might want. So we can grab Hoopa, and let's grab Oracoria. We haven't attached an energy for the turn. I know we have like one more left. So we're pretty good to do this, right? Hoopa, get me a Mega Guardi. I can grab Dragonite as well. I don't want to, I want to keep it in the deck for now, but it is an option. We need, our, we need another Super Odd. We know we have it in the deck because we drew it earlier. So we grab this. I'll attach it now, because we should be able to consistently get D values on the board. And we will drop U3. Or I think I absorbed all your luck. Found a shiny Medicham right as you got the garbage opening hand. Dude, man, I give my luck back, bro. I need it. In any store near me. It's, yeah, you can't really find sets like that nowadays. He's probably going to knock me out here with a DCE, which is fine. We can revenge, take two prizes of our own. Um, as long as, you know, if he if he whiffs it, that'd be really nice. Nope, never mind. <laughs> but he doesn't Oko me unless he GXs me. Because his Rage will only hit me for 190 with a Choice Ban. So, yeah, he's going to have the Mad Bull. But then we get our revenge knockout. 420! Ha! I know he was, like, super cheap. I just don't want to buy it. Because then I have to wait for it to come in. And there's always that chance that it doesn't come in. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean. Ah, Dragonite gets me Guardi, which is cool. I, don't, I really did not want to draw Dragonite there, I'm not going to lie. Um, I have loose slice. Yeah, never mind. How many VS Seekers are in the deck? We have three more left. Mm, we definitely need our Super Rod. Do I play Skyla right now? 
just to get the super rod to shovel things back in. If I do that, I keep Hoopa in the discard pile. I shuffle a Shaman, a Jirachi, and a Dragon. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Because I want to keep my consistency up. I think we just attack. I don't think there's a need for me to do much else. We'll just attack here. <coughs> we'll get our knockout. Now this is gonna be annoying because these uh, Umbreon's resist me. I can still get the two KO if I play it if I play around it properly. It's just not ideal. Oh, there's a Skyla, so I'm glad I didn't lay there for Skyla there. Or there's a month left. Just order it. Look, man, somebody will find it and give it to me, or I can buy it in a shop. I want it in my hands. I want it. Don't ask questions. All I know is that, like, I'm not even sure if I'm playing this deck at Dallas. I just want to test it. Like, I'm, I'm testing three different decks right now, and this is one deck I'm testing. Because, like, in theory, it works, right? So, it'd be fun to play, like, a rogue deck and do decent with it. Because th that's what gets all the attention. So, shoutouts to Oracorio, or Rangaroo, I mean. Because I'm going to get end here, and it's going to be sad. We still have three of our max potions as well. Its height of competitive usefulness was like that Waylord deck. It was, but if you think about it, like with all the Zoraks in the format right now, then it makes sense that the card is good right now. And you gotta cash in right now before they get super expensive, you know what I mean? I can check the bulk. Hey, clean. He doesn't get rid of my stadium, which is really nice. And then we have Ultra Ball for Lele, which works as well. And he's not gonna be able to to KO me very to KO me very easily. And that's kind of cool. What does this do for me? I'm not too sure. I still want Super Rod. I guess I can grab Super Rod like right now. No, Skyla's already gone. I don't want to... Hmm. This is good for Guzma. I need Flowstone if I do that though. Lusumi grabs me supporters. So I can just play Lusumi for the sake of playing something. Ace Roll is really good. Guzma is actually Lysander stronger in this case. We'll grab Lysander. We'll keep the Guzma in the discard pile because Guzma. Grab Sycamore as well. I can also grab Ace Arola and make that play. But then I would need a second Guardi down, so I don't want to do that quite yet. We'll just do this for the time being. Now I could Ultra Ball away Sycamore and Max Potion. Lay and grab stuff like another Guardi, which I believe is actually prized now that I think about it because I don't remember seeing it. So I'm not going to do that just because I'm pretty positive that it's prized. But yeah, next turn we can knock this out by just discarding two Pokemon, which is easy enough in this deck. What's up, Samuel? How you doing, bro? I guess Mega Guardi pretty decent and expanded. It's it's just the fact that it's a Mega, right? Like it's hard to pull with Megas off. Is he gonna Dark Call me? That'd be really funny. <laughs> That'd be super funny if he Dark Called me. Strafe it up. And we even top take a Dragonite, so that's really nice. Uh, I definitely want to lose some uh, Lysander. Is there anything else I want to do? Let's Dragonite first, because I'm definitely going to Lysander and take a knockout. Since we have a Ranguru down, we might as well. Grab Shaman, because I might Ultra Ball. Actually, let's definitely grab Guardi, because I'm going to Ace Roll at some point. Guardi and Shaman, just to have back in the deck. Actually, I do need one more Pokemon down anyway, so this works out pretty nicely. Because I can't get rid of these two, I want to keep this around. So we'll just draw two off Shaman. It's not ideal, but it's something, right? I don't want to Ultra Ball for anything right now. And this means I can get rid of Dragonite to hit 110, and Dragonite and Shaman to hit 110, because I wouldn't hit 110 otherwise. Or Corio's cool. Floatstone's especially good, because that means Guzma is now an option. And I have an Oracorio now. An Oracorio will help me get knockouts later, because I'm not going to bench it right now. So we'll Despair Ray. Boom. Bam. We still need Super Rod, though, to put these cards back in the deck so that we can keep abusing the engine. There's our Guardi. And a Mega Guardi to boot. Now, how many Spear Links do we have left? We play four. None. We have zero Spear Links left, which means I'm going to have to Heart Evolve, which is not too bad in this in this matchup. 
What's up, Noah? I guess Mega Guardy, I have been grinding louder on my 400. By the way, I pulled a freaking Rainbow Rare Buzzle earlier today. That's rad. It's ya boy. What's up, Robert? By the way, guys, don't forget, like the stream if you haven't already. It's always greatly appreciated. <clears throat> There's my Oricorio. So many lives like Oricorio. He's gonna shadow bullet me, my boy. Alright, it's gonna become problematic here soon. Alright. So we drop you. Forgot I even played chorus. <laughs> We're not gonna draw much with it, but it's cool that it's there. There's my super rod. Alright, let's definitely abuse this right now. Okay, so ideally I get max potion, right? Uh, we need both my Dragonites back. Uh, we have Mega Guardian in the deck now. So I'm probably going to put back one Shaman just to draw off of it. Uh, nothing else is really necessary. Oh, wait a minute. Energies. Derp. Uh, I would like more than one, so I will put back both energies. And yep, we'll close here for a whopping four cards. And we got what I wanted. Almost. I'm trying to think, what do I do with this? Because I'm going to max potion for sure. Alright. I guess I'm gonna grab Dragonite. Do I grab that now though? No, I don't think I grab it now. Because like what I could do is Dragonite get Oracorio, get my energy. Grab grab like uh Oracorio and a Shaman to get more stuff. And to a KO this man. I wish I had more time to think. <laughs> we have a lot of resources in the deck still. Oh, we also have our rainbow energy as well, so maybe we should have only put back one Pokemon and not put back one energy and not, you know, preserve as much as I was hoping to do. We have our Corio here. Boom. This actually helps me get my two Akeo without having to discard Pokemon next turn as well. Uh, I think we just grabbed the one. You, how many Pokemon do you have down here? One, two, three, four. Uh, you could be useful later, because we have D-Valley. So I'm going to keep you on the board. I'll discard you too. Yeah. Or Koryo could actually get knockouts if I needed to. Because I'm putting 40 damage to the board at one time. That's really strong. So Galeo Bronzong is broken. I've been hitting 230 every turn. It is pretty, pretty nice when you can set it up. Oh crap, <laughs> that's wild. All right, so how many uh, D-Valleys? I should have three more. Yeah, and two more, not three more. This one's actually gonna delinquent me, that's wild. What's the rainbow for? It's for Kartana. For instance, if I get Kartana with rainbow energy, I win the game here with his GX attack. And it's just another way to like do damage, because once again, uh, Zora caps damage on you for at 190. So even if you do put the, uh, the rainbow energy on the Mega Guardi, you're still able to dodge and knockout while having the energy requirement that's necessary. So, yeah. So, ideally, right, I get a Kartana. I have no way to get a Kartana now, but it was an option. In fact, did I have the game last turn? If I played Kartana, I don't think I had enough cards in my hand, but if I waited one turn, I might have had game. He, I think he would have still delinquented me. Oh, but he's not delinquenting me now. Did he just leave? Well, I just win, right? By attacking. Cool. Don't know what happened there, but I win by attack. I guess he had no way to win, and that's why. If he delinquented me, I still won there. Oh, my D-value was prized, too. I mean, I had two left, so that means one was in the deck. Alright, so now I gotta start paying attention to what's prized, but I also gotta get used to playing this deck first. It's very hard to get used to. Oh, what's up, MTO? Oh, that's my boy. Also, I've been playing Metagross Square. That's really cool. Uh, what's the rainbow? Oh, I already answered that. But hey, guys, don't forget to drop a like if you have not already. I'm thinking about giving away some Zoric GX box codes. So it comes with, like, the Zoric GX and the uh, and uh, all the stuff that comes within the box. There aren't the packs, obviously. So if you guys want a chance to win that, I wanted to make a like goal of 50 today. We'll see if I stick to it. I might make it less, depending on how the stream goes. <clears throat> huh, depending on how the stream goes. But uh, yeah, like the video. I, I want to give it away. I have two extras, and it'd be nice to give a Zorak to these lovely people. 
the Zorg's pretty important. It's up there with his... Oh, why are we... Hmm, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is happening? At least we can get Hoopa turn one. But this is... This is something else. <laughs> What's up, Joey? I was going to go to sleep, but stream... Hey, that's my boy Tiny Orange. That's my opponent playing. Ooh, Gyarados. Gyarados is terrifying because Gyarados Oko's me. This is probably our worst matchup. My god, and they're mulliganing so much, so we're not going to be playing Shaman here, apparently. Alright, so, uh... Did they just, like, time me out of looking at my opponent's hand? Crazy. Crazy. We're going to have to win the stadium war. 100% of the time. This is not going to be used. This might be used. We have Oricorio, right? So Oricorio should be able to win me this game. So we're going to do our best to win with Oricorio. Because we get Guzma. I should probably take a look at what's prized. We have a Shaman in, in the field on the board. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I kind of want to end this turn to preserve a lot of my stuff. Kartana could be useful. Uh, looks like we have one D Valley prized. We have our Skyla though. We have all of our links so that's good is there any supporter i want this turn let's grab one two any supporter i could use because i don't play gets anymore i could play hex in fact i kind of like the hex play and i'm probably going to do it just because i want to make sure my opponent's as stuck as possible so let me grab jirachi here um no. Yes. I could grab a Mega Guardi. I mean, we ha this way I can play both Jirachi and Lele next turn for Skyla if I need to. So I have more options this way. That was a pretty solid way to end the turn. I just hate, I mean, we're not going to use max potions this matchup for sure. My opponent's going to just consistently Oko me most of the time, so I'm not too worried about it. Best Buy was selling Zorak boxes 22, and I was a very happy boy. Hey, that's a good time. To, that's a good time to be alive when you can buy those Zorak boxes for a good price. Or can you show me your Turbo Darkless? You, ha you don't have to play it, but I want to see it. I mean, it's pretty not updated, but I can definitely show you. Those turns are the reason I keep a spare rope laying around. <laughs> Yo, Nat, I got finals. Hey, good luck on your finals. And to all of you guys, good luck on your finals as well. Um, that Magikarp won't protect you from this, boy. Even though they're my bad opponent, the thing with the matchup, right, is that your opponent usually doesn't have too many Pokemon benched. So this is a little bit awkward, but I guess it's manageable if I can get my Floatstone. But, um... I had to play... I think I had to play Guzma this turn. Not Guzma, Hex, I mean... Yeah, I think I have to play Hex. So I don't want to play that down yet. Definitely going to Hex here, though. Because we're stuck. Don't want to do things out of order. It's Hex and Pass. To all of you guys, good luck on your finals if you have finals coming up. For sure. Get yourself plenty of rest and uh, little hacks, brain hacks for those of you that want your way to like get your brain flowing, especially early in the morning whenever most people have exams, is uh, first of all, eat eggs. Eggs are like the best breakfast to have on, on brain day, especially if you can eat like an hour before you uh, do your school stuff, then you're really set. Oh, I forgot to attach the energy last turn, and that's going to come into play if I whip my floatstone. Because then it gets us me. <laughs> that's really funny. It's going to come into play pretty badly if I whiff my Floatstone. Which it looks like I will whiff my Floatstone. So that's a yikes. That was a bad play on my part. Um. Anyways. It didn't go straight into that. So he's just not going to... Interesting. Oh, man. Definitely messed up last turn. I didn't even realize I forgot to attach. Like I said, I wanted to do, not do things out of order, but I ended up doing things out of order. Because if I attached, right, I could have Oracorioed, grabbed a energy, and then retreated manually. But I completely forgot. So now we're just kind of in this awkward place. Because we can't Hex next turn. 
I guess I can draw one and hope for the best. <laughs> That's not fair. That's 100% just not fair. <laughs> I'm a dirty cheat. I'm just a dirty cheat. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a dirty cheater. Oh, I can't attack because I don't have D-Valley yet. Oh, no. That's even worse. <laughs> Whatever. I'm a dirty cheater, though. Ah, I messed up super. I even made my thing out. Yeah. Once this is the biggest issue I have with this deck, right? Is always not considering the fact that I don't have D value out yet. So once again, definitely practice makes perfect because this deck's actually pretty annoying for me to play, especially when I'm like as tired as I am like right now. Because obviously, long day streaming at late at night, still so shenanigans. <clears throat> But I, I always, that's my biggest weakness, is whenever I play test this deck, I keep forgetting about D-Valley. I need like a big thing like in my face that says you have D-Valley out or you don't have D-Valley out. Hey, what's up, Gamer Tamer? How you doing, big dog? Eggs are the best breakfast in general. Dude, this is true. Eggs are great. But on top of the eggs, get yourself some gum just because you want to chew. Chewing is good because it helps you, once again, puts like quote unquote air in your brain. Don't ask me for the science. Because um, I used to know it. I don't know it anymore, but I used to know it. Uh, but yes, you um, chewing is good during exams. It helps you think easier. You just double puzzle me, bro. Don't double puzzle me, bro. Unless he's like doing the top thing. Oh, no, he's double puzzling. Yikes. Uh, okay. You've been paid back for being a dirty boy. I've been a clean boy. I just took a shower. <laughs> This is a yikes. I definitely messed up. I'm really upset that I messed up too. I'm real upset with myself that I messed up. But when he knocks me out, if I can get my D Valley, then I can start taking knockouts with Oracorio. Because he has a bunch, he has a couple Pokemon down there. And by a couple, I mean one. But one gets a knockout, and I'll take a knockout. <clears throat> Double choice ban. This man's going for the damage. Just enough for a knockout as well. 210. Just barely hit the numbers because he has two choice man. What kind of garbage is that, man? It's fine. It's fine. Um, I have a better idea of how I want to play this, which is good. I'm going to play this down. And I'm going to draw as much as I can. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's annoying. That's super annoying. I think it's an auto loss now. I think it's like scoop time, honestly. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, it's scoop time. It's scooper Rooney's time. All right, cool. So I made a mistake there, for sure. That definitely cost me the game. Uh, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Hey, cool. Sponsored by Extra the Gum Brand, dudes. Somebody ban. Somebody. Somebody. Ban somebody sponsor me, bro. I need some food. I need food. <clears throat> What's up, Confuse Ray? And Dark Mega Meow Stick. If you keep that up, though, I'm going to have to start actually keeping track of your misplays in a notebook. Dude, go ahead, man. Make me feel worse about myself. That's always appreciated. Rip Gardevoir. Rip Gardevoir. I, mean, I need to start calling Gardevoir, because I, I need to start saying Gardevoir, because that's technically the... Hey, look, a game where we don't lead Shaman. Isn't that exciting, boys and girls? Um, even though we're dead. We're going first, which is good. And we keep the mulliganing, which is also good. Um, you were first up, James. I was fine, but I don't want to play a game where I'm that behind because he's going to take four. He's going to take four prizes, and I'm going to be taking one prize at a time, which means he's a goose my way from winning. Uh, what's up, James, though? Oh, I know it's not sub match day, but can I battle you? Nope. <laughs> I hate saying no, but it's just how it is. Nice. Um, I only battled viewers on the weekends. This is a re this became a really good opening hand <laughs> out of nowhere. Uh, as long as we don't have Hoopa Prize, and I'm definitely jinxing myself right now. Drop these two, right? Because we want everything else. Okay. We grab Guardy, Guardy, Mega Guardy. Is that what we do? Or do I grab Shaman? I don't want to play anything else from my hand. Because I'm pretty set. So we grab... I can play Hex. 
Guardy, Guardy. No, yes, no. Only one Guardy. How about that? Jirachi, Shaman. Does we have draw support for the next turn? Because it's always nice. Uh, there's nothing else I really want. So let me grab. Let me see if I have Hex in the deck before I grab the Rachi, though. I do. Alright, cool. Then we'll definitely make this play. Ending with a Hex is always very, very powerful, especially turn one. So. I should attach to the active. I it's, I don't see him being able to knock me out next turn. So I'm just going to bank on that. And we'll hex here. And hopefully he doesn't have an end. If he has an end, it's not the end of the world. But it's definitely annoying. Because I don't want to play this because he might have field blower. Especially in a Garbodor deck where they want to hit you for trash lands. Field blower is pretty popular. Um, and also submatch days is for subscribers. I mean like like sponsors. More, more or less, um, but I have viewer days on the weekends, and I don't want to battle people unless they're a donator or a sponsor on the fly, just because, you know what I mean? Because that's unfair to other viewers, because then everybody's going to ask me to do it, and then I can't really have a coherent schedule that way. I don't have a Getsis in the deck, I took it out. Because Getsis, because your Night March matchup is already pretty decent, so you don't really need the Getsis. So we can D-Valley here. Oh, we can we can get D-Valley here, I mean. Something to look into. Because I would like to play D Valley into another Hex. Because he's playing Glispod and obviously he's stuck. Uh, well, there's an attachment for the turn. Now, do I play the Hex or do I just manually attach? I mean, not the Hex. Do I play the. Uh, do I try to get D Valley or do I manually attach? Is what I'm trying to say. I could also get the Spirit Link as well. We have Colrace for future turns. So I kind of want to Hex. If I play D-Valley, there's nothing I really want to drop from my hand. So I think I will manually attach. I will end my turn with a Hex. And I will attack. Yeah. I'm just trying to think if there's anything wrong with this series of plays, and I'm not seeing it, so we're good here. This is going to be a tough matchup because they have the whole Acerola thing. So the two KOs are going to be a little bit annoying. Luckily, we knock out Shaman, so if he ever plays Shamans, we can take advantage of that. And we'll take over this card like World. What? <laughs> what is Hugh for? Hugh is for the Zorak matchup because they stack up their hand a lot and you can punish them. It's a really good punish too because it gets rid of us so many of their resources. Are you going to ability lock me? That is the question. I love your vids, bro. Thanks. Oh, oh, wrong stream. Okay. Cool, appreciate you. Because he's overused. <laughs> I mean, we have uh, we have um, Cynthia coming in the meta. Carry this dude's bad, dude. My feelings. Everyone is hurting my feelings. My feelings, bro. Let's see. Does he have? Oh, bro. I think we're getting some sort of card like this back, bro. Expanded you. What's up, Luck? How you doing, by the way? <laughs> it's nice to see you. He needs Flowstone and Glisspot here. Does he have it? Because I'm going to try to knock out that... Uh, nope, he doesn't. Dope. Hex is too powerful, guys. <laughs> it's just too strong. I really I really hope we get Hex back in the format, though. Because Hex is kind of necessary in our current format. I know you still have those awkward turn one Hex plays that are a possibility. But, like, with all these abilities running rampant, soon to, be, soon, soon to have all these abilities running way too rampant, it's going to be pretty nice to uh, have that Hex Maniac as an option. And cards like World, I'm in peace. Oh, okay. I see what you mean now. That's why I got kind of so confused. I always want Chick-fil-A more on Sundays. This is actually a fact. I only want Chick-fil-A's on Sundays. <laughs> Tell him a hello as well. Hello. I do not have a starter. <clears throat> Who's shiny? Oh, Dina. What's up, shiny? Oh, Dina. How you doing? Preparing two multis on your account right now. Ooh, clean, 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 clean. I'm excited. Also, she's like the best Poke Girl, period. End of story. Who is Cynthia? Cynthia? If you're saying Cynthia, then you are never wrong. Cynthia is actually the truth of the Pokemon universe.
And Night March. Okay, so Night March isn't too difficult. I'm gonna have to set up the bench though to be safe. You have a good deck. Cool, we're kind of set. I kind of want to play my D Valley to to stop his um, to stop his uh, his own. And we have a decent turn next turn, so I will just do this and pass. I don't want him to play his own because that means that I I can potentially get rid of a uh, or weaken his shamans is what I'm trying to say. I can potentially weaken his shamans. I am now creating four dead cards in his list unless he plays field blower. Why are we here? Cynthia's top tier. Hex my man. Oh, Hex? Oh, no, man. Hex is like second to me. I'm not gonna lie. Hex fan art is like the best fan art. But Cynthia is this top tier. It's no Skyla. Dude, Skyla is not my type, bro. Me and Skyla, we get along, but like, Cynthia is. Cynthia is something else. Cynthia is the truth. <laughs> I'm out. Have a good night. See you later, Jenny. I didn't even notice you were here. I haven't seen you comment. Or maybe I have. I'm watching, don't know what else to say. Hi, I'm here. Oh, Jenny. There, there you are. <laughs> How dare you tell a March player he has a good deck? Look, it's called being courteous. If I were to be honest, scum. <laughs> but that's not nice. You know what I mean? So, like, check it out. Here's the reason why I like the Night March matchup. Because in order for a Night Marcher to knock out a Mega Guardi, they have to hit 210. To hit 210, you have to hit 180 with a Choice Ban, which is 9 Pokemon in your discard pile. When you have 9 Night Marchers in your discard pile, you're already in an awkward position because you don't have that many Night Marchers left to attack. But Oracorio comes in with a free attack because of Dimension Valley and puts 9 spread damage. That's enough to knock out both a Joltik and a Pumpkaboo. And that's assuming they don't have anything like Shamans or Leles or Zoarks in your discard pile either. So... That is why I am a fan of the Nightmare Tragic, because they get one knockout, they get they get their two prizes, but then you get two prizes in return for a one prize attacker. And then they have to overexert to knock you out. And if he had a D value in his hand, I'm just saying, you know, that we weaken to Shamer a little bit. Olivia Master Race, look, Olivia's not my type either, bro. Especially the anime. The anime like shafted Olivia, bro. Now Mal, dude, Mal is the Mal is the best, bro. She's the best trial. The trial captain. But she's also a child, so I can't say much about that. <clears throat> oh, what just happened? I just minimized my game. Did I just exile my game? <gasps> what just happened? How did that happen? Uh. Uh. Milo is not canonically nineteen. All the all the trial captains are under the age of seventeen. All of them. You can only be like I think they said something along the lines in the game that like. Uh, once you're 17, um, once you're 17, you have to stop being a trial captain or something like that. But dude, I clicked like the top left corner, and it somehow exited out of my game. I don't know if that was a crash or something, but I was just moving the thing a little bit. Obviously away from the le the right corner, because the right corner is where the X and minimize things are. I thought I might have like double clicked and minimized my game, but I just exited out of my game. And I wanted to showcase a Night March matchup, which is really upsetting. But you guys got the I guess you guys got the gist, right? It crashed, yeah, I think it crashed as well. That's really upsetting, because I had like a like a six game win streak there. No, I just forfeited the Gyarados matchup. Never mind. Doesn't look like she's 19, that's what I'm saying. Play su oh dude, I really want to play super hot. Super hot. Super hot. I love I I love that game, man. Let's switch up the music. Let's go, let's battle gets us real quick together. That's not Getsus. There it is. All right. Opening hand is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad either. We're not going first though, so I, all my good luck that I had when I opened it earlier is now gone and has now been transformed to bad luck. That's how PTGO works, if you guys don't know. If you ever have a bad time, just, just reset your game. What am I playing? <laughs> Something with Skyfield and Rare Candy. Is it like Decidueye, Zoark, and Stand and Expanded? Because that'd be really wild. What's Super Scoop up? Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know why my opponent's playing, though. I have no idea. Forget about streaming, but you gotta play Super Hot. Game was insane. I played it on VR and stuff. I've never played it on VR, but it looks like fun on VR. Eh, hand's pretty bad. Maybe if my opponent benches a crap ton, it'd be nice. What am I playing? <laughs> what is happening? Is he playing Decision by Porygon Z? Because my day would be made. <clears throat> Oh, 
on Polvopedia it says Mal could be 11 out of nine, 11 to 19 to 2 out of 9 chance. Man, I know for a fact that she's a child, be, uh, that she's young, based on the um, in-game text. Why did this go to the discard pile? What's happening to my game right now? Can somebody explain that to me? Oh, he just played this. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not... Nobody told me, but like... I'm just gonna pretend like you didn't. Let's drop these two. <laughs> that's how you know. That's how you know. Alright, so Hoopa hasn't been prized yet. Um... We have all of our spirit links. How many energies do we have? We have one energy prized. Uh, we have a Lysander prized. All of our D valleys, one max potion is in the hand. And we have a. Cool, we're kind of set for the most part. What's up, Helio? Helio Lux? What's up, bro? Let's do. Boop, boop. And we can't Mega Evolve this turn. In fact, we already have a Guardian down, so we actually don't need that. Um, do, we'll do that. Is there anything else I want? I guess I could put another Guardian down, but I don't really see the point. I mean, we can Life Leap this turn. If, what do I want? I can Hex. I guess I can Rachi Hex, right? That's a play I can make again. We have Hex in the deck, and we have a Chorus down, so I guess I'll do that. Oops. There we go. Grab our two energies out of the deck. Because I'm not going to be playing Shame in this turn, obviously. So grab these. Because we're, we're going to be playing Chorus uh, for sure. Guardi. Rachi. Hex, Hex, Hex. Stop my opponent from doing too much. Oh, we have Lysander in deck. Okay, so that's not priced. She has a job, so under 14 child labor laws. Dude, that's Pokemon World. Pokemon World. You can't, you can't equate laws in the pokemon world we have teen we have 10 year olds leaving their house exploring the world un like not being not being taken care of and everything like that i don't know what the word is for that so obviously uh age laws in pokemon universe are not the same <laughs> so what's this porygon do let's find out i don't rem i remember this thing has like devolving ability or something when you play this pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may devolve each of your opponent's Pokemon by putting their highest stage card into their opponent's hand. If this man feel blurred away, some of my uh, Spirit Links, potential Spirit Links, he's about to Zap Cannon me. What does Zap Cannon do? Oh, he just can't attack me next turn. Cool. <laughs> I am fine with this. Oh, uh, maybe I should Max. What's Max? We have Super Odd, but we are we do we are a couple energies short. I know we have some Rainbows in the deck, but I gotta keep that in mind as well. I want to Hex this turn, but I guess we can Colors for 8 as well. So we'll see what happens. Because I really want my Spear Link. And obviously we're going to have to Colors this turn. Because <laughs> we are stuck. I need Spear Link, Mega Guardi. I don't want him to evolve and start. Uh, nope, we're just going to get nothing. So that's a thing. Yikes. Oh man, that is rough. That is rough. How do we whiff that much, bro? We have stall tactics for a little bit. I guess I can course again next turn, but yikes, 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 yikes. If the age laws are different, what's the point of the whole convo? Morality. <laughs> That's the point. Uh, Cartana is useful. We have Seeker. Uh, Max Potion. I want to keep Dragonite because it's pretty important. But I guess having Cartana this card probably isn't awful. Of course, you can drop Acerola, and I want to keep D-Valley, so... Uh, do I drop Max? I don't want to drop Super Rod or Seeker or Energy, so I'll drop Max. We have Lusamine, Hex, Acerola. I guess I could have grabbed Lusamine, but I'm going to Colrus this turn. So... He can't attack me with Zap Cannon this turn. I don't know why. Why am I? Why do I even care that much? It's not a good deck, <laughs> by the way. Or N N Naruto Blazing just released a friend PVP. Pretty much sent a code to someone, and they can duel you. Hey, that's really exciting. Be back. I'm gonna follow you on Twitch, my boy. Appreciate you. Goozer.
Um, do I super rod now? No. I'll play Colrus for nine. And please do not let me whiff off a of Colrus to nine. <laughs> a Colrus to nine. Do not make me whiff. Thank you. Nine. <laughs> let, me, let me repeat that. It's nine cards. If I whiffed there, I would have been livid. Livid. Let's drop you. You. Drop all of you guys, actually. We don't need you. What, what do you do? You can casual slap for 30. Let's get rid of you. <laughs> One, two. Yeah, we'll do that. There's already a Twitch username with Orbomb. This is the real deal. You know, yes, this that's a fact. But uh, that Twitch user with Orbomb is mine. I just don't know the login information. And Twitch won't give me the information either. Either that or it's not mine. And maybe I'm just going insane. Twitch will be hype soon. No, I told you, 2018. Twitch is 2018. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm considering... Uh, I guess I can upload all my... He's going to hex me. That is wild, good sir. That is wild, good sir. See, I would knock this out, but it's not an issue now that it's evolved. So. Hey, Ozone. Everybody give this man Ozone a welcome. Shout out to you, big Dog. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining the Aura Army. It is always greatly appreciated. Always. Or is 2018? December 2018. <laughs> By what? Christmas 2018? You guys are wilding right now. Did somebody just donate? I hate that that noise gets made. I don't know what that noise is. But anyways, um, I don't know. I guess I should probably take the streams and upload them. To YouTube at the end, like just upload stream highlights, and maybe like have new, unique, fun thumbnails instead of the stock one I use. To be weird, like stream, like Twitch is like super lazy work because you don't need thumbnails or anything like that. But I also kind of want to have a decent setup. Like I want to have like a be right back and things like that. And I also have to change everybody that I host because I know I host a Yoku right now, and it has some rated M content that I don't want people to see. <laughs> Let me actually check my stream labs because now that, that that just happened i want to know if somebody donated because if you guys don't know for this month we're giving away hyper rare sil valley gx a full art top gx and a uh secret rare double colors energy uh and a zoark gx to this month for the to giveaways uh if you guys don't mind tis the holiday season i think i'm going to be donating half of what i earn for the holiday season, I'll see. It depends on how much I earn. Because like right now we have like what two donations. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, we'll do this. I guess I could play Skylar last turn, this turn, but whatever. Was we'll take our knockouts. I probably shouldn't be doing this because I'm kind of making myself week ten, but whatever. Um, but yeah. So donations get a chance to win all those cards. Remember, for every dollar you donate is an entry, and uh, at the end of the month. Particularly this month, I think we're going to be doing it during Christmas, so technically not the end of the month, but during Christmas, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing the, crap, what's it, uh, we'll be doing a randomizer, and we'll pick a winner for the randomizers, and obviously there'll be four different winners, because there's four different cards, and don't worry, the same people can't win twice, unless, of course, we keep with only two people that donate, then I'll just randomize between those two and two people, and then they'll each win a thing. I don't know, man. It's uh, it's kind of wild. We have two people that have donated this one so far. Uh, one person donated, I believe, nine, and the other person donated eleven, I think, because I think we have twenty in total. No, it's nine and eight. So Brady down, uh, Brady did nine. Peter did eight, and I haven't seen Peter around in a long time. So something tells me that Brady's getting all the cards this month, because <laughs> I don't think Peter is around to play anymore. Keldio, I can't knock you on one hit, so I'm gonna have to stick with Guzma. I'll play you down in case you end me. I'll play you down in case you end me. And, uh... I guess I can just attack this and then Guzma it next turn. Let me check, uh, yeah, nobody donated. I just don't know why that sound gets made, honestly. Anyways, back to the chat, I should probably check it. I've been checking Streamlabs for too long. Um, 
don't really know what's, I guess my opponent's not there. Oh, yeah, never mind. That was a new Kim thing of Stick. Where's Spit? Stix is, Stix is, uh, quit for a little bit. He's taking us, he's taking a break, uh, to focus on college because he's in med school right now. So Stix is, Stix is gone, guys, for a little bit. He'll be back, though. No, I'm gonna start. Don't. I'm not gonna like. Once it hits 2018, I'm just gonna start. Obviously, I do want the money to get an artist and everything like that, but I don't think it's gonna be a thing. At least not right away. We'll see how well everything goes. But I want the person that did Yoku's art because I like Yoku's art a lot. But he's also really expensive, and Yoku like pays big money for art even though he has no money. Hopefully, when you switch over to Twitch, won't be a but to, to me uh, while I'm trying to watch you. Won't be a butt to me while I'm trying to watch you. Uh, is there what's the issue with a uh, switch MTO, bro? Salty sticks, bro. Focusing on college, you that's what I'm saying. Sticks is with Ario, Speedwagon, and then Foreigner, Doctor Sticks, right? My boy Doctor Sticks. <laughs> All right, this is a good turn one. <clears throat> this is a very very good turn one. Or just be a Pokemon master. You right. We'll see how many Mulligans we get here, but like. We were playing Zoark too, alright cool, so now we can actually test the Zoark matchup a little bit more. Victor, oh Victor's here, for all the positive comments, you lose. Nice to see you again Victor. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Alright, so it's Zo like and rock Zoark. So we want Hoopa here, and I don't want to drop too much. I don't. I know I don't need this Oracorio right now, but at the same time I don't want to lose it. I'm okay losing Field Blower because there's not really much he can do besides a GX attack that can knock me out and I'm never going to have a full bench. I want, I definitely have to keep you here, for, particularly for this matchup. Um, so I guess I lose an energy here. It's not ideal though. I guess I'm going to lose Oracorio. I mean, if I lose Oracorio, if he ends me, then I'm in a worse position than losing one energy. So I'm going to go ahead and lose one energy here. And hopefully you're not prized, Hoopa. Thank you. We can grab my other Guardi. We can Hex for the turn. Assuming it's not prized. Uh, it's not prized and do we have Rachi? Are you prized Rachi? No, you're not. Okay, so we can Hoopa, get Rachi to Hex, grab a Shaman for the next turn, and I don't want to grab Mega Guardi, but I feel like I might have to, because I'm kind of stuck. Did I? No, I have a Spear Link in hand. Never mind. Yeah, we can grab Mega Guardi. Never mind. All right, we're Gucci then. We're Gucci gang right now. If he ends me, it's not the worst thing in the world. So boom, boom, wait a minute, no. Uh, we definitely want to play Hex's turn, so... But I'm also stuck if I don't make this play, so... Mm, I think we don't grab Mega Guardi this turn. Because we need Shaman for sure for the following turn. Like, 100% we need it. And we have to just draw really well, I think. Or we get Ultra Ball off the top deck and, you know, do that shenanigans. He can't knock me out in the first turn. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. We're just going to go ahead and Hex here so he can't play Lele Bridget, ideally. <clears throat> Hex is so much stronger against the Lycanroc than, uh, than uh, against Zorak than uh, Getsus. Because a lot of the time, uh, they can play a draw supporter or a consistency card. He has a bridge in hand, that sucks. Um, that can stop them from getting too much out. Also, if you need an artist. Oh, yeah. Dude, MTO can actually work with me. Dude, that's actually really good to know. I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, once you switch, you won't get snitched because it's Twitch. A, hey, hit him with the rhymes. Just be Pokemon Master. You already know. It's gonna work for me even on the lower quality videos. That's so weird. <clears throat> so we got Ultra Ball, which would give me Mega Guardi, I guess. Uh, I guess because uh, he has Sudowoodo, right? So this is the last thing I can bench. I can eventually knock out the Sudowoodo, but Sudowoodo is not really a problem. Because we can get rid of my bench so much. Uh, so. So here's the thing, right? I think I have to grab Mega Guardi with this Skyla and play Oracory to get a second energy. So I think I'm going to have to make that play. So we're going to make that play. So let's grab Ultra Ball to grab Mega Guardi. And we have to play Oracorio here, so we can discard one of the energies we get off off the Oracorio and toss a Max Potion, which sucks, but we can do that. And then we can Super Rod the energies back, which I'm going to have to do like right away. We can save the other Super Rod for energies later, 
but we want to attach this. Actually, we can super add a, a Pokemon back next turn as well, so I'm not going to do that quite yet. Even though it's way safer if he ends me. I think I have to super odd now. We do play two, we also have our Dragonites. So I'm going to just super odd now. It's just so much safer. Because I don't have that many basic energies in the deck, so this keeps me a little bit more consistent than usual. And now we can just start dropping things that we don't need right now. Because we're never, we're never focusing on getting Okos in this deck. It's purely two KOs. The only thing we want to Oko is like Shaman, which we do already. No Tourney Tuesday. I do want to do Tournament Tuesdays, but uh, I really wanted to work on this today. It was just, it was just itching the back of my head. You know what I mean? I can draw a Mean Taco and Stickman, dude. Normally I'm uh, fairly expensive, but when it comes, when I get comfortable with this watercolor style, I can probably work cheaper. But I still don't mind finding some kind of common ground to help out. Yeah, don't worry, bro. Um, definitely want to support you because whenever I get art, whenever I like. Um, whenever I commission artists, I want to support the artists because the artists are like the most important part, right? And part of, artists are so underappreciated, bro. So I want to support them as much as I can. I have 35 tickets saved. Clean. We'll do, uh, we could potentially do tournament. If I'm streaming tomorrow, which I'm still up in the air about streaming tomorrow because I've been having a video. You guys have been hitting the like goal so much that I have to upload a lot more. So I might just upload tomorrow, we'll see. But um, it, if I'm feeling good, because I'm I know I'm sick right now, I'm trying my best to get over it. But if I'm if I'm feeling healthy, then tomorrow I can stream and we can do tournaments, I think. Because we haven't done tournaments in a minute in a minute. So I think it, we can do tournaments tomorrow. Tournament Wednesdays rolls off the tongue super well. I can draw a triangle. Yo, but can you draw a perfect circle, bro? Don't ask these questions, bro. No, that's not possible. I can draw Ghastly, Gengar, and not so Leafeon. I feel like there was a joke there that I missed. <laughs> and with that, or it just went up even more in my book. Oh, thank you. I don't know why. What did I do? <laughs> the Sky Field. Are you going to play more Pokemon, bro? Can draw a hefty chorus for nine. <laughs> I'm feeling healthy. If I'm feeling eat salad, bro. Dude, I don't like salad, man. Do I look like a rabbit? You don't know. Maybe I do look like a rabbit. I mean, you guys have seen my face already, but still. Um, there's the Zoro, so he's gonna knock out Guardier, which is unfortunate, um, for sure. <laughs> Definitely for sure. That's a little bit annoying. But I have to put down another Guardi now, and I think there's still, there's still one more left in the deck, so it's not the end of the world. But I have to put down another Guardi just to keep my consistency going. Right, we're going to try to 2 a KO as much as possible, and hopefully he whiffs his Ace Rollos. Never mind, it's already in the discard pile. Yikes. Okay, so we're going to have to burn him out of resources. And if he does ever trade a bunch... Oh, he doesn't even knock us out. Yo, shout out to Resistance, bro. Shout out to Fairy Typing. Uh, super Odd, number two. Definitely don't want you right now. Floatstone, Max Potion, Attack, good things. Oh, I really hate that we drew Super Rod, because I can't use Super Rod right now. Because I have to use my Super Rod for energies in particular. I do have Skyla, so I can get, if I can, I can, bleh, I can get the Floatstone. I can also Guzma here, <laughs> which is equally as nice. We'll play this down for sure. Knockout Chains, just get our prizes while we can. <clears throat> We can knock out Soda Widow. I can knock out Soda Widow later. I think we need Diva. We need a lot of cards here, but we also have time. Like we're not in a rush to get a lot of these cards. By Ultra Ball, what do I Ultra Ball for? Another Shaman? I don't have another Shaman. I think. No, we do. We have one more Shaman. But if I Ultra Ball for a Shaman, what do I toss? I don't want to toss anything. Uh, we'll just hold on to the Ultra Ball. We'll just get our Shaman knockout while we can before he the Sky returns it. We can get Dragonite as well next turn. Uh, do I drop Guardi? Just to avoid him getting a knockout on a Guardi? No, because I'm going to max potion that Guardi at some point. I mean, if he knocks it out, he knocks it out. That's unfortunate. But 
I want to be able to, because if I max push him, that means I can get another Mega Guardian down next turn in case I have to manually retreat this one. There's my max potion. Alright, cool. SpongeBob can. Don't talk crazy here. <laughs> Yo, try Pokemon TCG. It's a bit frustrating, kind of terrible game, but you should try it out. It's not bad. <laughs> I can do music for you if you like. Help keep it more ad friendly. I can also do music for you. What does that mean? What do you mean do music for me? Like, you have you have ad friendly music or like non whatever music. If you want to feel healthy, go buy a McDonald's. <laughs> you con oh my comment on artists. Oh yeah, I mean artists are important, bro. Like especially in the Pokemon community, people people disrespect artists a lot. Too, and it's, it's not good. Art is important. That's what keeps you. It's keeps it's what keep things appealing. <clears throat> Also draw Mankey, Swablu, and Chimeco. Chine, Dude, if you you know what's one of the hardest Pokemon to draw? It seems because no matter no matter who I commission, like somebody always draws Togekiss weird. And Togekiss isn't that hard to draw, but I guess it is. Bro, we need Spear Link. We need we need a lot here, and we're not gonna get it. So that's unfortunate. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so I got how do I how do I want to approach this? That's the next question. I can Guzma and get a knockout, but then I'm losing things. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get knocked down myself. I can knock out the Pseudo Widow. I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this, and I'm, I'm lost right now. If I Skyla, I can put back some Pokemon, but I also want a Dragonite to get things. So let's, let's Ultra Ball first. I don't like tossing a VS Seeker. I feel like I just need to right now. Alright. Let's do that. Cartana is... I think I might have to drop Cartana in the Rainbow Energies. <laughs> I think it's the next drop. Like, as much fun as the... I mean, to be fair... Uh, this is tough. I don't know what I want to do. I definitely need d Valley and an Energy. So... We have a couple of options here. And they start from... Okay, we can pull it off. Let's <coughs> max potion first. Just focus on our two KOs, I think, right now. Let's put some of these energies back. Just one. Uh, and then we get a Hoopa and Dragonite here, I think. Put the energies back. And Mega Guardi. I think. Just in case. Because I Dragonite, I get Hoopa, and I get Oracorio, and I play them down. Oh, but we don't have... Oh, never mind. We don't have D-Valley out yet. No, I can get D-Valley. No, I can get D-Valley. Okay, cool. I can still play Skyla this, Skyla this turn. <clears throat> no, we're, we're still okay. We're still okay. I'm going to get Hoopa, just give me Pokemon in my hand, and we'll get a Oracorio to get Energies. We're going to get Skylar to get D-Valley. Okay, we're Gucci. We're Gucci Gang right now. We're Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Um, Skylar gets D-Valley. That's why. I, I did think this out. I just, I need time to process because I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm like crying. You know that feeling whenever you're just like, Ugh, but I just really, like, it's irking me, and I really want to play this right now. Um, this. And now he can drop whatever he wants. I don't really care. He drops lately for all I care. This is I'm just gonna get a two KO on this and potentially GX for game if I can knock this out in two hits successfully. But we do this and then we can next turn get Hoopa and all the cards we might need. <coughs> Boom. Cool. This deck is so good when it works. Uh, yeah, Hoopa gets me Shaman and I guess I could have just grabbed Shaman and not Hoopa. In fact, that's probably smarter. Uh, I don't want to drop this, though. I'm debating if I drop the Guardi. How many Max Potions have we played? We played two. I think we dropped the Guardi. Then again, I'm going to keep it, because that means Max Potion is not a dead card. Okay, let me see. I'm going to find out if playing the Max Potion was the wrong play. I was not of uh, keeping the Guardi on the bench was the wrong play soon. For now, I'm going to keep it on the bench and... We're just gonna go from there. If we can keep, if we can make the D Valley stick, we're good. We're running low on seekers. I think we only have one left as well. 
I would like a randomized Nuzlocke for more Bomb Industries. Dude, Noah, are you making a... Are, oh, bro, Noah. We've got some Nuzlocke's in the works, Noah. Or Bomb Industries got together. All the all the CEOs, all of us. <laughs> and uh, we were talking about potential Nuzlocke's. And we got we got a couple in the works. I'm thinking about doing a multi-stream Nuzlocke with multiple people. Ooh, this is really cool. The foul play is decent. Because it can copy our uh, thing and get rid of some of his bench Pokemon. This is what I was worried about, though, in this matchup. This is the thing that sucks for me. And why I want to be able to... Which is why I want a Bright Look Pokemon. But, like... A basic that I can just play down and use bright look. <laughs> That'd be pretty dope. It's not gonna work though. I can draw Voltorb, but Electrode is impossible. Ooh, crazy. You draw Spinda and a slow bro. Yeah, this is where things get annoying. Cause he I already apparently he got rid of my D Valley. I don't know when that happened. How did he do that? Oh he feel blurred, didn't he? Did he feel blur? I guess he did. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Lucimine gets my things back. Uh, I need max potion though. And Lucimine gets me. I have to get two, right? I have to get two, so. Let's do this. Let's grab Shaman, I guess. God, I messed up so hard getting uh, getting Hoopa and not, and not the other card. We might have to Chorus as well. I don't have it in there, never mind. Colors would be good because we have a high chance of drawing everything we need. Or a decently high chance of drawing everything that we need. Okay, this works, kind of. I mean, there's no kind of. It does 100% work. But it's not the cards I've been wanting, bro. So let me get Lusamine. And we just keep the train going. D-Valley and... I guess Guzma. Because it gives me a knockout. In case I need to. <clears throat> so now we have this. Which is why I'm playing the Lusamine now. And that's the first time Lusamine came in clutch. And I like the Lusamine. We're going to run out of energies, though, soon, if we're not careful. And Oricorio is going to be really good, because Oricorio actually puts a bunch of Pokemon in range for me. Like, I can put... Oh, he doesn't have Lele's down. Oricorio is cool whenever your opponent has Lele's down, because you can actually put some damage counters on the Lele, and then get an Oko with uh, Despair Ray. But I have to hope that he doesn't have too many Seekers and Ace Rolls left. I know he only... Uh, obviously, he only has four Seekers. I don't know if they play more than... Um, I don't know if they play more than one Ace Roller in their decks. I'm assuming they do. I don't actually know. We can get our second grab our second Dragonite, but like after we grab our second Dragonite, we're just kinda donezo from there. We need our Spear Links. There's another Zoric. We have three Spear Links in the deck. We just haven't been running into any of them. There might be prize. Hopefully he does not have a way to get Ace Roller this turn. That'd be ideal. Cause I would like to take my knockout here. Oh you make music? Bro! Dude, I need, do you have any samples? I would love to listen to some samples. Guzzlord is hard to draw. Dude, I bet. What's he grabbing? Is he grabbing Lycanroc to get a knockout finally? If he does, that means I have a healthy Mega Guardi for next turn, which I will 100% take. Send us pictures of your phlegm while you're at... Dude, what is happening? Honestly, Aura, do you do a cage lock? Get ready for heartbreak. A cage lock? Who do I do a cage lock with? There it is. <laughs> as soon as he knocks me out too. Oh, that's feelings, bro. Feelings. Alright, just let me take this knockout here and I'll be okay. But he apparently... Oh, he didn't play a... Uh... Ooh, that's awkward. I need a good top deck now. Now I need a good top deck. <laughs> You know, I mean, I guess we can draw potentially something with Ranguru, depending on what we top deck here. But we need a decent top deck. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Hugh might be the play. I draw three and hope for the best. Maybe get a D-Valley off this. Make him get rid of some cards. Wait, you've done, no, I just know what a cage lock is. I've never done one. I just don't know who I would do a cage lock with. I have a couple of Rock and Metalish samples, and I have a few Pete samples. Bro, I'm telling you, man, this deck is the truth. This deck is actually now that I put in all those extra max potions, bro, and that Lusamine, this deck is the truth. We hit just enough for a knockout if we lose a Ranguru. Oh, that's sad. Because <laughs> we only hit 90 here because of resistance. So we have to lose a Ranguru to get this knockout, but I think it's worth. Because now we can win with Kartana GX. And we straight win if we get Kartana in a GX attack. So yes. Yeah, it's worth. Unfortunately. This is, this is where losing eggs is a problem, but 
The deck is a lot more consistent since I lost the eggs. There's, a, there's our last guardian. And we have a Lele, finally. Alright, cool. Because this cage lock is PG. He was the best draw support in the game. <laughs> Facts. No, he. I do resist him because I resist Dark. And he resists me because he resists Psychic. So, this man's about to attack me for big damage. So if I can Goose my I win, right? Assuming he doesn't lose my, he doesn't get rid of my D value this time. <clears throat> Unless he, oh, oh, dude, if he does my attack and gets rid of all of his things, that would be wild. But but then I just knock this out. So <laughs> never mind. He's gonna enemy to one. Uh, can I get a dragon out of the top deck? <laughs> I have one more left. Please. I also have Lele, which would be cool. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> That's another thing I want to play in this deck. Just more Dragonites, bro. Especially since I'm limiting my Super Rod to like just energies. I can't afford to play Brock's, Brock's Grit. <clears throat> I can't afford to play Brock's Grit. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking more Dragonites might be the play. Or I just, I, I also might want to drop the whole Kartana strategy in general. Just because it doesn't seem to work. <laughs> like... Because your opponent can usually get off enough energies on the board, play puzzles, definitely. Like, especially Zorak, right? Zorak has a consistency to constantly get their DCEs, right? Or just cheated, dude. I just I just believe in the heart of the cards, bro. I just, is, is that a problem? I mean, look, it was a 1 in 28 chance. They were The odds were in my favor. <laughs> oh, man. So, if I can get Guzma here, I win. Which means I need a last Seeker. Or I have Lysander, right? Assuming Lysander is still in the deck. Which I'm pretty sure it is. So let me actually just bank on that. Because I went with Lysander as well. Let's find out. Yes. 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 Well played. Well, I should I should honestly take the stream and just highlight it, bro. Oh my god. There we go. And this is why I play this deck, because in theory, you have a really, really good Lycanroc match or Zoark matchup. Zoark never okos you. You can knock out all the Pokemon that they constantly play down. Um, and with max potions, you don't have to play Ace Rolla, but you also play Ace Rolla. So that means you have healing and a supporter for the turn, unlike Zoark, which has to heal by playing a supporter for the turn. Bro, bro, that was that was a that was a good that was a good game. That was an example of a good game because it was well played on both sides. I think I only made one. I know I made like three mistakes that game, so that's something to keep in mind. So once again, I still have to keep practicing this deck, or actually won a game. Dude, I'm pretty sure I won most of our games tonight. So shut up, <laughs> you guys are jerks. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of jerks. Uh, there it is. Best top deck ever. I already know, bro. It's alright. It's alright. We were gonna. We were gonna win. No worries. Cause what could we? We could have top deck Lele Seeker. Dragonite, we had a bunch of outs. Because the Seeker was Guzma, um, Lele was Lysander, Dragonite was more things. So we had a bunch of outs that game. We also had Colrus to keep us consistent, since he had a bunch of Pokemon down. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. Yo, mods, whenever someone curses in chat, send them this link. Wait, first I've seen in a while. Have you not been watching the whole stream? <laughs> I think I only lost, like, I crashed against Night March, which doesn't count, because that's a good matchup. And I lost to Gyarados, because I scooped up. Other than that, I don't know the other games. I might have lost the other games, just not been paying attention. Um, anyways. Just into the Shadow Realm. This is what I'm rocking with right now. Oh. There you go. Um, the only thing... The only thing I could see myself doing, and I just want to keep testing before I make an official change, is drop Kartana and the Rainbow Energies, and uh, just add, and that would give me a bench space for one more thing. I guess a deck space for one more thing, so if I need more consistency, I can play like a second, I can play like a third Dragonite, or a second, uh, or a third Sycamore, are the two, th are the two things I kind of want to play. I could also stick with just five energies, and that would give me even more space, because we've only used rainbow energy, I think, once today, which means that, like, 
having just five energies is fine, especially whenever like five of them are searchable to Oracorio and we can spam Oracorio. Are you playing other decks today? No, I'm actually about to end the stream because I, like I said, I do have to get some sleep tonight. So I'm about to end the stream here. We've got some pretty decent testing in. I'm fairly happy with the deck list right now. I think after I made the changes, it's it's been running a lot smoother. Now, of course, IRL luck might be killing me. So we will see when I play against Steven in the future, uh, if I'm happy, because Steven's my testing buddy who plays a really good Zorak deck. He doesn't play Lycanroc. So I like, I like is kind of a worse matchup for me, uh, but I'm not too sure yet. So the Lycanroc can actually bring out my bench, you know, guardies that aren't mega evolved yet. <laughs> But I like Hugh. Hugh's powerful. We yeah, we didn't get to show it off, but it is very powerful when it works. Um, we didn't get to use Ace Rolly either. But I'm glad that I'm playing both Guzma and Lysander now, because that helps a lot. A lot. The Hex is really good. I kind of want to play a second one, but I think for now we'll stick with one. More Flow Stones could be useful to get me out of those tough situations, but Guzma also helps in those situations as well. Like, it's really toolboxy, and you guys know that toolboxy is like my favorite style of playing. So, a lot of good stuff here. I like the deck a lot. Regardless, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already, because it's always greatly appreciated. Um, whatever, what, what else, what else, what else? Hit that like button if you haven't already, because it's always greatly appreciated. Drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Um, and yeah, let me know what decks you want to see me play for uploads because we haven't hit the like goal yet but if we do hit the like goal then i will be uploading tomorrow as well and i'll see you guys next time peace